Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, I have a, I have a hypothetical situation for you. All right, I'm I'm game. So you have a son. Whoa. Okay. This is we're getting deep into it. Yeah. Yes. That's he's, very he's, very hypothetical. He's on the youth football team. Right. All right. Is it a Christian school sure. or sure okay. whatever? Okay. That's irrelevant. All right, and he good. and you think yes. he should be starting. Okay, I think he should be starting. He right. is not starting. Do I have a do I have a, a position on a team? Like do no, I no, no, no. You, you're just a parent. Am I in a PTA? Nope. No. Okay. You're right. just a parent. I'm a concerned. And you're parent, like, though. hey, coach. Yes. You should have my son uh, on the starting team, and yeah. they don't agree with you. What do you think you should do? Yeah, because I've been working with his blocking. Like I've been doing the right I've been, exactly. I've been doing right. a lot of work with him. I probably march up to that coach and punch him in the face. Or you could shoot him multiple oh, times. Oh well, see now that's a bit much even for me. <laughs> <laughs> even in this hypothetical TNT world, yeah. St. <laughs> Louis cancels youth football Jesus. team season after parent allegedly shot the coach. What the hell, man? It says authorities responded. Uh, the coach who had sustained serious physical injury from the gunshots. Uh, taken to the hospital, he said, was upset for him not starting his son, yeah. shot him multiple times. Multiple. While, while unarmed. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's what happened. You will start my son or else your son's off the team. My son's off the what? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give him that accent. Yeah. I mean, it's Yo. probably. <laughs> it's probably. Yo, that's kind of crazy. That's a little, that's a little much. Like, I'm sure this isn't even, like, the first time that that's happened. Because this seems like... Oh, yeah. Parents are insane. <laughs> right? Insane. Dude, I can't think of a circumstance I would shoot anyone other than you're trying to kill me. Or you broke into my house and you're trying to kill me. Or there would be, like, you're trying to kill me in that situation of me shooting them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's not too many people in my life where I could even be like, oh, you're trying to get shot. Like, I don't even know, like, I'm gonna shoot maybe them. if someone, like, murdered my mom, I would feel the vengeance in me to try to do something like that. But, like, even, I can't think of anything. Like, someone could whoop my ass, and I'm not gonna be like, I'm gonna go shoot you. In the moment, I'd probably shoot them. Like, if you're, act, if you're in the act of beating my ass, I'm, I'm gonna probably shoot well, you. Well, I mean, but at that moment, your life's in danger. You yeah, don't know what yeah, you're, yeah, but, yeah. like, if someone, like, if someone, like, jumped me and beat the shit out of me... Like, I wouldn't then get healed and go, like, I'm going to go shoot them. Yeah, I'm I, not going to go shoot them in retaliation. I would go get the cops, probably. Well, right, exactly. I like, I, like immediately. in a thing of danger would be the only reason I could see myself shooting a person. And this dude shoot this dude because he didn't put his son in as a starter on a football team. Yeah. People get shot because they cut people off on the highway. Yeah, I mean, it's ins that's insane. <laughs> that's insane, too. We I, Like, we don't really know what happened. Maybe there was an, a physical altercation, I'm sure. He was, was unarmed, so at least he yeah. knew there was in danger. He yeah. was in danger. It was probably unnecessary, but, you know, he might have started a scuffle with him and started getting his ass beat by the coach. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, it should not have gone that far. Yeah, that's I don't, ridiculous. I don't get it, man. Like, I just don't. And this is why I'm never going to have kids. You know, this is why. So you don't murder a coach? Because I I have, whoa, man. You know, like, look, I'm not going to lie. Angry dynamite is not a good thing. That's why you don't see angry dynamite. I don't, that's the dark side. Yeah, And yeah. we don't need that out there in this world. Right, man. right. And I fear if I had a daughter. Oh, that you would just live in angry dynamite all the time. I honestly, and I, like, I, look, everybody says, like, yo, if I had a daughter, dude, I'd just end up in jail. The first dude she brought home. I really feel like I would do some dark things to a person if they harmed a person who I held in that high regard in my heart, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it wouldn't take much to set me off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean... Yeah, I don't like to go into angry Jonas mode. That doesn't really like... There's like faux angry Jonas when my computer doesn't work and I'm like rah, rah, rah for like 30 seconds. But like to be truly angry, like that doesn't come out very often. 
Exactly. Like I, I keep that at bay, man. Like I don't, I don't want that out in the world. And and, and I don't want to like set people up to think like like you're I'm a loose cannon or something. Yeah, I'm not a ticking time bomb over here. Yeah, like, me neither. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I don't, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not gonna go out and actually hurt people. But if I had a daughter, or I don't know, possibly a wife, like I can understand why people have a relationship like that. It's a very strong bond. But it's scary that what people will go. I mean, yeah, people murder people because they're like flirting with their wife or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, is that justified? Nope. I mean, not. It's the not murder. justified if they screw your wife. Have her bye. Oh, okay. You won't, if you don't want me, I don't want you. And but if they you're screwing want... somebody else, then you don't want me. No, they want you. They just want the other thing too. Well, good for them. But guess what? Now you can have it all the time. Uh, but no, they still want you, though. Yeah, great. No. I know. That what? sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. It really no. sucks. But I I ain't even going to be mad at the dude. What? <laughs> well, why don't you just establish the open relationship? I mean, I'm all right with that. All right. But if that's established, it's different. I heard somebody make a very... uh a very interesting point on open relationships. Yeah. Said that open relationships are just hurt people who have had bad relationships in the past try, trying to figure it out. But it's not the best way to have a relationship because you just hurt and you just live it in the hurt instead of fixing it. That's not true at all. That you, don't is, think, that, you don't think that's true? I do not think that's you true. You think that uh, this is the, that there would be the ideal, healthy way to live a relationship? No, I think that that reasoning is not right. I think the, the reasoning behind open relationships is that one person can't, they can't, can't possibly fulfill all of your needs. So if you are able to get your needs met in other ways outside of that person, that's fine. If they can't fulfill your needs in their probably not the you think one person you. you think one person can fulfill every need you have no then there you go so but you're I giving think, up something to be with them why yeah. not be with them and then be with somebody else who can fulfill the rest of your needs you're not getting yeah, because only through temperance can we uh become stronger individuals it's like uh the whole thing about marriage is like marriage is is scary because it's that bond of I have to give up certain aspects of myself in order to facilitate this relationship. That I feel sounds like, like the most unhealthy shit I've ever heard of in my life. You, I mean, but you, that's what it is. It is. It is. It's, it's, all about, it's about sacrifice. Yeah, it's always about sacrifice. So sounds like a Hallmark card to me. I mean, it is. It's 100% about like you, as soon as you start a relationship, guess what? You've already given up time. Giving a up something. Big chunk. Of yeah, you're either time. giving up your time you spent by yourself or something that you used to do in place of that. A big chunk of time. Right? Like I, you know, I've really thought about because I play so much volleyball now. I'm like, if I start dating someone and they're gonna you be like, to hey, you wanna up. hang out on Friday nights? And I'm like, I go play volleyball on exactly. Friday nights. Like, so, do I gotta give up volleyball to hang out with you? Like, oof. Yeah, and that and that does not make it an unhealthy thing to do. I mean, it's it's giving up one thing that you that you love for another thing that you could potentially love. And I, I mean, I feel that. Hey, you know, you know, that's kind of like I said. But why can't you? Why why can't you have both? Por qué no los dos? Because you're always giving up. It's like saying is that. The thing is that I'm not giving up anything for this relationship is insane. And then saying it's like, well, I don't want to give up this one aspect of it because I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. That's what you're saying. That's I don't what know. You're saying. I mean, that's what you're saying. Yeah, I just, I just, I just don't believe that anyone can fulfill everybody's needs. And like, if you can yes, get those I needs agree melt somewhere else and it's all consensual, that, do your thing, man. That's like, <laughs> do your thing, whatever. I, I I don't know if I I don't know if I agree with. But that. I don't. But I do not think now. I don't know if is I there agree with is that. something with that? You're broken. You want to like be able to have like this like we're not really committed sort of th that does happen. But I don't think that that's the the normal sacrifice is a part of every relationship Oof. is all I'm, I'm just going to say is that sacrifice is a part of every relationship even in its fledgling stages. The first date you're making a sacrifice of time, energy, effort. You know, to try to get to know a person. In a relationship, the sacrifice gets deeper. 
because monogamy comes up and if you're like oh i'll sacrifice the fact of now i'm living with you so now i'm sacrificing space i'm sacrificing you know my routines you sacrificing no matter what to say that I'm not going to sacrifice on a sexual because it's too much fun. It's not about, it's a it's not poor about no, excuse. It's, it's not. No, when I say needs, I don't mean sex. That's the, what an open relationship. That's the only thing that makes an open relationship any different no. from a standard relationship. No, because there's open relationships where you have partners that you don't have sex with. You can have other partners that you don't fuck. Yeah, I don't know. That's not healthy. I will take a hot take and say <laughs> that open it. relationships make you a better partner uh, because when you're in a monogamous relationship, the fear that everybody has is they're going to find somebody else and leave them, right? So when you're in an open relationship, they can find someone else. And as long as you're not being a piece of shit and you're being a good partner, they have no reason to leave you. What, they can have both. What's the difference? <laughs> Between that same, those same circumstances, yeah. but change all the opens to monogamous. Because then you're cheating. Then you get left. It's an either or instead but of nobody's going to leave you if you're not being a, a shitty partner, if you're monogamous as well. People unconditionally stay with people for all sorts of reasons. Agreed. Whether you're in either version of yeah. the relationship. So it's like, if so that way, if you meet someone new. And yeah. you're like, man, me and this person kind of have a spark. How many times have you been in a relationship, met someone new, and been like, oh, we kind of we kind of click a little bit? But you're in a relationship, so can't even explore that. Can't even yeah. talk to them. Can't yes. text them. That what if the, you were able to? That is the sacrifice that I'm giving to the person that mm. I've decided to spend Gross. my relationship with. I don't know. <laughs> Gross, I don't know. You know what? Yo, shout out to that coach that got shot, man. Hopefully, you're making yeah, it. Yeah, hopefully, a I think he's all right. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you're recovering. <laughs> anyways, I don't know. Let's just, yeah, well, anyways. Shout out to all the shot coaches out there. If you've been shot, you a coach, man. Hit me up. Shot the coach foundation. <laughs> me and Jump Shot stuff. the coach foundation. <laughs> Start that shot coaches Jesus all Christ. over the world. <laughs> That's all the time we ever did this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.